The Elbound Call Center is now supported on Yaystar P-Service PBX Software Edition. You can easily set up your Elbound Call Center with our solution. In this video, we will walk you through the configuration process. And as always, if you prefer reading material, you can find the manual in the description. All right, let's get started. First, you will need to ensure you have upgraded your P-Service Software Edition to the latest version. For the individual license, you can contact your local distributors or resellers or go to the Yaystar Pana portal to purchase it. Remember to ask for an outbound call center license. After you get the license, you can start setting up your call center. To ensure that, you have to work outbound routes and the PBX. All calls from the outbound call center will be made through the routes. If you need help creating outbound routes, you can check this video. Now, there are three key steps to creating your outbound call center. First, you will need to set up an outbound queue for agents to manage customer calls. And next, set up the call disposition for agents to label each call and mark its status. Finally, create a campaign for auto dialing tasks, enabling the system to automatically call at the scheduled times defined in your settings. Starting with outbound queues, log into the P-Series PBX admin portal and go to the call features. In queue, you will find outbound queue. Click on add to create the queue. All parameters and settings are the same as that of the inbound queue. You can check this video for the details. The difference here is in the queue permissions. Here you can define who has the permissions to access the queue call locks of the outbound call center, as well as the range of call types. Once you finish all the settings, click on save. Then you can continue to set up call disposition. In the call feature section, scroll down to find call disposition. Click on add to create a label. Here you can name the label and provide a corresponding description. For instance, you might create labels like close deal, need to call back, and service denied. Agents will be able to label each answered calls accordingly. Feel free to create as many as necessary. Now you can move forward to create campaigns, which are essentially auto dialing tasks for the system. Folding call feature section, you will find campaign management. Click on add to create a new campaign. First, you will need to name this campaign and then choose the selectable call disposition for this campaign. Any unselected dispositions will not be available for agents during this campaign. Afterward, set up the starting and ending times for the campaign so the PBX will automatically start and stop the auto dialing at the designated times. You will also need to set up business hours, as the system will only make calls within the defined business hours during the campaign's dialing window. You can either use the system's global business hours or set up custom hours specifically to this campaign by selecting based on custom business hours. Once these settings are complete, move on to configure the dialer. Here you will choose a dialer for the campaign. There are three dialer modes available. The progressive dialer, the power dialer, and the agentless dialer. The progressive dialer works by checking how many free agents are available and dialing at one by one rate. For example, if you have three free agents, the system will make three calls simultaneously. However, the number of calls cannot exceed your maximum concurrent cost setting. So even if you have three free agents, the system will only make two calls at once, if that's the limit. You can adjust this limitation as needed. The power dialer allows you to define a specific dial rate. For instance, if you set the dial rate to 2, the system will make two calls for each available agent. So if you have two agents, the system will make four calls simultaneously. As with the progressive dialer, the number of concurrent calls cannot exceed the maximum concurrent cost setting. Additionally, both dialers allow you to configure a ring timeout. So, if no one answers, the system will hang up. If someone answers, the call will be routed to the assigned outbound queue, which was created earlier, allowing agents in that queue to handle the call. For the agentless dialer, there won't be any agents available to answer the call. Instead, the system will automatically make calls based on your maximum concurrent cost setting. When someone answers, the system will direct the call to an assigned IVR 
or playing an uploaded greeting and then hang up. After selecting your dialer, you can proceed to set up the call rules. This is where you define how many attempts the system will make if no one answers. You can also set the retry interval, which determines how long the system will wait between each attempt. Additionally, you can configure the DOD, so when the autodialer places a call, it will display the configured caller ID to the recipient. You will need to select a pre-configured DOD number from the trunks, ensuring that the service provider for the corresponding trunks has provided DOD service. Finally, configure the prefix based on the outbound route to ensure proper dialing. And next, you can move on to importing contacts for the campaign. The system will automatically start calling everyone listed in the contact file. To begin, import the contact list into the campaign. You can either use a pre-made template and upload it directly to the PBX or select an existing phone book from the system. Once the contacts are imported, you'll need to define the number type. Since each contact may have multiple phone numbers, such as home or business numbers, here you can choose which type of number to dial for each contact. If the first number type fails, for example, if the business number is unreachable, the system will automatically attempt the second type, and so on, to maximize the chances of reaching the contact. Keep in mind that the default number types are fixed and cannot be customized. Additionally, you have the option to mask numbers. When masking is enabled, agents will not be able to see the actual phone numbers of the contacts, which can help maintain privacy. Lastly, in the contact sorting section, you can define the order in which contacts will be caught. This allows you to prioritize certain contacts or create a specific calling strategy based on the listed agreement by names. Once you're done with all the setups, click on Save. You will view all details about this campaign, as well as key metrics that indicate the calling results. Alright, that was how we set up the outbound call center on the P-Series software edition. Hope you guys like it. And for agent and management operations, we'll show it to you guys in the next video. And same as usual, the outbound call center is available for you guys to apply for the trial license. Don't forget to give it a try. So don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.